plant goods can be so expensive. But secondhand shopping is a really great way to cut back on the cost and not only get like higher quality, better items a lot of the time for, again, a lot less, but also to cut back on the amount of new products being made that end up like getting tossed out anyway. Planters, display shelves, saucers, propagation vessels, a whole bunch of things. In today's video, I thought I would share with you some of the things I personally keep an eye out for at thrift stores and also things that I seem to be able to find no matter what thrift store, what time of year, where I end up going. I'm able to find these things. So maybe you have some ideas of things you could look out for and some things that maybe you could utilize in your plant displays or plant keeping however you want to. <laughs> at the end of this video, I will be doing a thrift shop haul. Ryan and I have gone a couple of times recently and even though they were very brief trips, just you wait and see, we found something so good and I'm so excited to show you. The very first place I like to look when I go to the thrift store is of course the like glassware section, plates and display dishes and things like that um, that you put like fancy food in, but I don't do fancy food, but I do fancy plants. So this section of the thrift store is where I usually find like saucers, just smaller little dishes that I can use underneath my planters with drainage holes in them to help catch the water. I do have some plastic ones that I really do like to use, but I'm trying to phase out the plastic and switch to these. But of course, like it takes time to build up the collection of saucers for this many plants. Every time I go, I just will find a few of these little things that I like and they come in a lot of different sizes. I have some very large ones. So like I recently found this bad boy. You can find a lot of really durable, high quality things like this. This one was a little bit expensive. It was 450, which is more than I would usually spend on something like this, but I did really like this one. So yeah, usually these are like where I live. This one was $3. Why did I spend $3 on that? They're usually like 50 cents to $1.50. Depending on the time of year, it is holiday shopping time, so things seem to be a little bit more pricey. So that is the very first section I like to check. Don't get me wrong, I do check the entire home goods sections of all the thrift shops near me, but what I'm keeping my eye out for, I'm trying to use my imagination for ways I can use things. So like these dishes can be saucers. I could also, if I want to, put sphagnum moss in them, plant plants directly into it. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things I could do with this. I could use one of these for like a kokedama type thing. Yeah, there's really a lot of things you can do. So I'm really just looking for anything non-porous that won't like mold or get damage from water. On that same note, I do really like to check out the candle section. That's where I actually found this little thing, which is just like a very small, I actually, they had it in the candle section, but I actually think this is a, what's the word? Where like when you smoke, you like an ashtray. I actually think this is an ashtray. That looks like it might be some ash. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I do find ashtrays in this candle section a lot of the time because they're like similar size. I have been able to find a lot of really good things like this. I have a few of these that are actually metal and I've used them for so long. I really, really love them. In this section, you can usually find like little risers for your plants. I do also have a few of those. They'll usually have like legs on them because you know, you can set your candle on top of it, but not a candle plants and it works as a great saucer but it's just like different than your regular like sit flat on the ground saucer you know kind of along the like saucer lines is i always like to check out like the wicker section i have found so many beautiful wicker like baskets like this and where i can't use this as a saucer because clearly there's some holes in this, it just wouldn't catch water and it would also like mold or get damaged with water. I do like to use these to sit underneath my planters that don't have drainage holes. It's just a really cool way to like switch them up. I do have something like that sitting in my bathroom. I really love how it is and it just like breaks it up. I don't know, it rises it a little bit and it looks really cool and adds a little bit of texture. I also like to use these for like vases. Obviously I haven't even cleaned this one. I have nothing in it yet, but like this um, or you know, like this. Every single time I go, I'm able to find like stacks of these. In that same section are like, of course, baskets. I personally don't like the baskets with handles. So I keep my eyes out for ones that I can A, either remove the handles and it'll be easy to remove and still look nice. Or often there's little baskets like this that don't have handles at all. And again, I can use them as like a cover pot for my not as cute planters without the drainage holes. Or of course, you know, you could put your little saucers in there, which that is actually what I usually use my plastic ones for is inside of uh, baskets like this so that I can house my 
planters, my terracotta planters that just I don't personally think are as cute a lot of the time um, inside of this without damaging the actual basket itself. I've also found larger wicker baskets that I will turn upside down and use them as plant stands. I do have a few of these set up in my house right now and it is, it's a great way to raise your plants up off the floor or you know if it's in the back of a shelf instead of getting lost in your sea of plants on your shelf you can put this back there, put the plant on top and like it's risen up so it can stand out a little bit more in the back there. You can pretty much always find cool things like this. I've also found like wicker waste baskets. I've also found like cool wicker um, like Kleenex box covers. I love finding cool Kleenex box covers and usually there's the hole in the middle, but that doesn't bother me, especially if I'm just going to use it as like a riser for a plant anyway. So just a couple of ideas of things you could watch out for. My biggest tip is to like have an open mind when you're looking at things. And if something catches your eye, like this caught my eye and I was like, oh, there's holes there. Like you can still figure out ways to use it if that makes sense. And even if I don't use it for like that, I can, it, like it's just cute, you know? I love finding handmade pottery at the thrift store. And you know, I, I think what happens a lot of the times is people take like college or high school ceramics classes and then their pieces get tossed out into the thrift bin because maybe they're not into plants. They were just doing it for the grade, you know? You can find a lot of really cool things like that there. Like this is actually one my sister made in her college ceramics class that she wasn't going to use so I took it under my wing and I've been using it ever since. That's a really great way to find like unique planter pieces, planter things like that. Keep your eyes out for those because there's a lot of the time there's really cool things. A staple plant person thrifting thing to look out for is propagation containers. We prop plant propagators love a good glass container to propagate in. So I'm always watching out for them. Recently, I mean, I have bought many, pretty much every time I go to the thrift store, I'm able to find vases like this one. I also have this really beautiful green one I got a few years ago in one of my thrift shopping videos. Really any vessel that can hold water and plant roots, I <laughs> like to grab. I have a couple of cool like goblet style ones that I absolutely love. This ceramic, deer planter. I call it a deer planter. I don't know what it originally was supposed to be, but it has a hole in its back and I've propagated things in this. This is like one of my favorite plant items I own. I will keep this forever. I love little weird ones like this. Really any glass, ceramic vessels, plastic vessels that don't have holes, like keep an eye out for because those are invaluable to us propagators. The more propagation vessels, the better. One of my favorite things that I've ever thrifted is actually this stool and it was $5 and I have used this for four years now. I just use it to put a planter on top to rise it up off the ground. It's something that I will keep using for a long, long time for five bucks. Like that's awesome. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, this one specifically, but the benches, stools, chairs section is a really, really great place to find unique ways to rise your plants up. So that's a place I, that's a section I always like to check. I also really like to check the lamps and like lighting sections. So I usually have really, really good luck here. Recently I've been checking them because I'm looking for something very specific, but again, it's something you can use as a plant display for like hanging plants. So upstairs, the one I have, the one I'm showing you isn't, wasn't actually thrifted. I just bought it back in the day when I lived in my tiny apartment, had no money for a nice lamp. So I bought this like $10 one from Walmart, but I took the bulb out and used the bowl thing to hold my Syndapsis Pictus plant and it works great. You can find some really cool like ornate looking or wood ones. I myself am on the hunt for a wood one with like balls all the way up and down. I mean, I'll do a video on it if I ever find one, but I'm gonna make it into a cool plant display thing. Um, so that's just the kind of thing I'll watch out for. And this time, you guys, I will show you, but we found the coolest thing in the like floor lamp section. <laughs> Something else you can watch out for is just like cool lamps in general, where you can switch out the bulb for like a grow bulb and keep it next to a cluster of plants to help provide extra lighting, but like in a cute way, you know? A lot of times grow lights just aren't cute. Thrifting a cool lamp for $5 or whatever is a really great way to spruce that up while also providing your plants some additional lighting. There are a lot of things like that you can find and you just gotta, you just gotta like keep an open mind, you know, and be like, I like this item. How can I utilize it for my plants? The next thing I like to watch for as I'm perusing the home goods section are anything really that I can use to make a good terrarium. I really have to show the items I got 
So you can see that really like anything can be used for plants with an open mind. So this was in the like clocks wall thing section. This is a little clock. Ryan and I are gonna take out the clock section. Well, we don't know for sure yet, but like we're gonna use this for a terrarium and hang it on the wall. And that's gonna be so cool. And like, it's not something that you would usually think for plants, but that's kind of the cool thing about terrariums. You can make some really cool, unique things for your home out of stuff that like you wouldn't normally be like want to use in your house. So like, I would never just buy this to put in my house. Once I get it like built out, it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool and probably one of my favorite things in my home, you know? I just like to watch for things like this that are enclosed where I could maybe like make a terrarium. Let me show you the next thing I got. I found this cool thing, which isn't actually completely enclosed. So I would have to do it as like an open terrarium for like succulents maybe or something like that. But I do plan to hang it and have it be like a hanging terrarium thing. Or I could even like put a plant in there that's gonna grow out and like hang. But it's just like another unique little thing that I can use for plants. I can use it for a terrarium or whatever really I want it to be. And I do actually believe this was from the camera candle section because I do think you're supposed to like put a candle in there maybe oh yeah candles and candlesticks um, and I liked that it was hanging like this so it's just different than anything else I have and I, I really think that Ryan and I are going to be able to make something cool out of it next is actually this snow cone machine which okay I <laughs> I'm well aware this one is like a little bit weird but we saw this and like we both panicked because we're like that could make such a cool terrarium stay tuned for that we will be making this into a terrarium and I didn't even notice when we bought it but these are actually separate so I don't know I can use those for little plant things too there's two of them. I don't know, let me I, let me know what you think of all of these things. If Ryan and I are like a little bit crazy or if you would see this and be like, oh, terrarium. <laughs> okay, next is a bubble gum machine. For a while had been searching on Facebook Marketplace for like a tall standing bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gall? Bubble gum machine. And we saw this at Saver, so I was like, okay, for $250, we're gonna, we're gonna buy this little one and see what we can do with it. I just think it's gonna be really cool. And not very many plants will fit in there, but it's just a unique thing that, I don't know, I'm very excited to turn this into something planty. What do you think? Oh, and then the other thing we found this trip is this huge pendant light. It's three feet tall. We're not sure if we're going to actually hang it from the ceiling or have it be like a standing. We're gonna take the lighting components out of the center of it and build it out to be a very cool terrarium, put a light in the top. This is my favorite thing that I found at the thrift store recently. And this is something that if you buy like brand new, it's going to be in the hundreds of dollars. I mean, let me know if you guys feel the same way about terrariums because I totally will stop with the terrarium content. I know I'm not very good at them, but I think they're fun and cool. And even though I'm not good at them, it's I enjoy it. And I like the way they turn out most of the time. This was the best thing we found in my humble opinion. I got this large vase, which I feel like it's kind of hard to find big ones like this. Anytime I see large ones like this, I try to grab them. I did also show this a minute ago, but I got this vase as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is actually another one of my top three favorite thrift finds of all time. We found this lamp. <gasps> It has this clear base down here. Um, I don't even know if it works, but we're going to make it into, make the base into a terrarium. I totally forgot to mention this one when I was talking about the terrariums, but isn't that such a cool find? It just goes to show like you gotta look at every section and have an open mind, you know? So it's gonna be really cool. It was $5 and it's gonna be so much fun to <laughs> turn it into a terrarium. That was a very, very exciting find. And then I just got like this basket I showed you a second ago and a whole bunch of saucer things. So I actually think I might want to do, I forget what the word for it is, but I was kind of thinking of doing one of those for these. I don't know, you add the stuff in and have it be above the rim. I think I could make a really cool one out of this. And then, you know, I just got a few different little crystal saucers. That's a cool thing about finding dishes like this to use. Most of the time they are a lot like deeper than the plastic saucers you can buy. I mean, they have some deep ones you can buy, but I don't know, these look a lot better, <laughs> I think. And they're much easier to keep clean, in my opinion. I also got this smaller one that isn't as deep, but it has like cute little feet on the bottom, like just these tiny little feet on the bottom. So it's like risen up just a little bit. It is actually like square. I think it's very cool and different than the saucers I already have. I'm excited to put some a plant on this. I also got this little bowl, which has like floral design on it pretty deep. 
definitely for a smaller plant, this was a dollar. But actually when I checked out these glass things, he was like, oh, we'll do, we'll do five for $3 or whatever. I also got this, which again, it was in the candle section. Maybe it was like a, maybe it was actually a candle holder or it could have been like an ashtray. This one was $3, which is a little expensive, but I really liked the shape of it. It is a bit taller and it has a cool like geometric kind of design around the brim. So I think this is gonna be Awesome. The last thing I found is this cool propagation vessel vase thing. It was a dollar. I freaking love it. I was hoping I'd be able to find a few more because this is so cool and like goblet it was a dollar and it's going to be perfect to propagate in. I like how different the shape is and then also it has a little design here and down here. So almost forgot. I also got this basket. So I'm really excited for all these finds and to get them put up with my plants, of course, clean them very well once you get them home. That is my haul. Stay tuned for like the project things I hauled. <laughs> Let me know if you're interested in seeing videos on those. I could take you along with me to thrift for plant supplies so you could have like a thought process of why I pick things or why I don't pick things maybe. I don't know, I like watching videos like that. So let me know if you do too. That is it for this video. If you have any plant thrifting tips or things you personally like to watch for when you're secondhand shopping for plant supplies specifically, please leave a comment down below. It's very much appreciated by me and I'm sure others as well. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.